You have a 45-year-old man with a history of peanut allergy, developed shortness of breath, and abdominal pain after accidentally eating a cookie containing peanuts. Blood pressure is 130 over 80. Heart rate is 110 beats per minute. On exam, we see audible wheezes, and skin exam is normal. What would be the most appropriate next step? Give albuterol, give diphenhydramine, give solumedrol, give epinephrine, or observation only. Go ahead and key in your responses there for me. All right, so the answer is D, give epinephrine. Great work there, because he is having anaphylaxis, right? This patient has two organ involvement after consuming a known allergen. Therefore, he has anaphylaxis. First line treatment of anaphylaxis is epinephrine, epinephrine, and epinephrine. All right, albuterol would have helped with the bronchoconstriction, but epinephrine is still first line. Choice D, diphenhydramine will help, but it's not first line. Solumedrol, corticosteroids help with the late phase reaction, but again, they're not first line treatment. Epinephrine is the only first line treatment for anaphylaxis, and observation alone would have been insufficient for this patient because he is experiencing anaphylaxis. So if we take a look at our hypersensitivity reactions, we have four types of hypersensitivity reactions. Type 1 is our immediate hypersensitivity reaction, which is IgE-mediated. Onset is usually within seconds to an hour after exposure. You have type 2 hypersensitivity reactions, which are your cytotoxic reactions. These are mediated by IgG or IgM. Onset is usually after days of exposure. You have type 3 hypersensitivity reactions. These are your immune complex reactions. It's an antibody antigen complex. This takes weeks to develop, so it occurs weeks after the trigger. And then you have your type 4 delayed hypersensitivity reactions, which are T cell mediated. These usually occur 48 to 96 hours after the trigger. And we're going to be talking about each of these individually. All right, so if we take a look at type 1 immediate hypersensitivity reactions, again, this occurs very quickly after the exposure, seconds to an hour. This is IgE mediated, mediated by your allergic antibody, immunoglobulin E. So some classic examples would be things that I normally see in the office, your typical allergies, food allergies, asthma, allergic rhinitis, latex allergies, urticaria. These are classic examples of IgE-mediated type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. So if we take a look at anaphylaxis specifically, this is a life-threatening IgE-mediated reaction. Common causes include antibiotics, such as penicillins, cephalosporins. If we take a look at foods, common culprits might be peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. Latex allergies in healthcare workers, you might see. Uh, patients who've had spina bifida or urogenital malformation because they've had a lot of surgeries. They've had a lot of manipulation where the surgeon is going in with those latex gloves, and that's why they're also more prone to latex allergies. Anesthetic agents, such as induction agents, neuromuscular blocking agents, and insect stings. These are all common causes of anaphylaxis.